we're going to learn how to make kraut using three-cornered garlic today. Let's go. We are currently in Gundijamara people's country. We are in, uh, in the outskirts of a town called Portland in, the, in southwest Victoria, near the South Australian border. And it is uh, early spring, late winter at the moment. And three-cornered garlic is in absolute abundance. Also called onion weed, also called probably many other colloquial names uh, in the part of the world where you live. It likes to grow in very wet, damp areas and it really likes uh, ditches and the side of the road. So you need to be careful where you're harvesting from because you don't want any places where you can get pesticide runoff or runoff from the road. So the first step is to identify, correctly identify um, the three-cornered garlic. So you can see these beautiful, delicate little flowers. Some of them opened, some of them are closed. And the stem is triangular. Can you see there? I'll hold it up that way. Hence the name three-cornered garlic. So there are many different ways that you can prepare uh, the three-cornered garlic to eat. Uh, you can just eat it raw of course and it's absolutely delicious. Um, you can, I like to take the flowers off and put them uh, on top of a salad or a stew when we're having it or if we're just having a simple pasta or rice dish um, then you can just uh, cook the pasta or rice and then stir the flowers through at the end it's just so delicious and um, being in the allium family it's got that it's quite a subtle flavor of onion and garlic um, but it's that really mm, it's delicious it's not too strong at all and because it does like to grow in very wet areas, it's got a kind of succulent feel to it. And a nice sound, oh, you probably can't hear it though, um, a nice sound when you squeeze the stem. If you have a look at the bottom, the base I've pulled out, these are the, the bulbs at the bottom. And so you can, um, you can pickle these, you can just pull them off you can just pickle them like this, they're absolutely delicious after you've cleaned them of course. Uh, you can just pickle the whole uh, plant as well um, after you've taken off the dirt. You can just put it in a jar and I would use a 3% brine for this like I do with most things uh, which is one tablespoon of salt to two cups of water and then just cover it making sure all of the solids are underneath the liquids um, and that'll probably be ready in about a week or so because even less because it is so um, fine is so fine it doesn't it's not dense like a carrot or a beetroot or a Jerusalem artichoke or something like that um, but today we are going to be talking about sauerkraut this is a family favorite of ours and we've been making it for many years and we've been asked about all the different ferments and all the different foods we've been eating on the road so um, welcome to this video and hope this hopefully this will answer some of your questions so first of all I'm going to harvest, harvest a whole lot of the plants and then show you how to prepare it. So at home when I make this I get giant bundles worth of three-cornered garlic and I do it in a food processor and I've got a big crock that I put it all in um, and making lots for our family because it's so delicious and for volunteers and family and friends to share. But on the road, we have to keep it really simple. You need a plant, a knife and chopping board, or what I'm going to be using today is just some scissors because I don't have a big area that I'm working with, working on. Uh, some salt, uh, as the best quality local salt that you can uh, get your hands on. Uh, I've got a little bowl couple of jars. So first of all I'm going to chop it quite fine and if you're worried about uh, dog wee and things like that then you can give it a rinse but we had uh, quite a bit of rain here overnight. We had about 15 mil so I'm not too worried about that today. So 
and chopping it up uh, relatively fine. You can see, not too fine, but as fine as I can. And if a bit of grass gets in there, you don't need to worry about that. Give it a bit of a chop. Okay, and I'm just going to give it a generous sprinkle, just to make sure it's all covered. And then I'm going to uh, get my jar and give it a bit of a swoosh in there just to mix the salt up and put it into my jar. Okay, and you need to really uh, press it down. So what we want is for the, it to form its own brine. So that's exactly what's happening. Uh, if I was at home, I would put it in uh, the three corner garlic or mushed up with the salt in a crock and I'd put a plate on top and then a weight on top of that to make sure all the solid is underneath the liquid. I've just added a little bit more. And you can see pushing down how much liquid is coming up now so with all of this pushing and pounding and massaging we're really wanting to break down the cell wall so it releases the liquid its own water from inside the three-cornered garlic and by osmosis it's going to um, fill the salty brine and put that back into the cell wall of the plant so if you're pickling, you're adding the salt and the water in, so you're um, adding in a brine, but with a kraut, you're wanting the plant to make its own brine. So you're just helping it by adding a little bit of salt in it, add, adding a little bit of salt to it, and then it's making its own brine. Look at that, glorious. Whether you're on the road, or whether you're at home or whether you're wanting to just simply be the biological control of this what is called invasive species also called a volunteer plant also called an autonomously growing medicinal plant uh, you don't need to poison it you don't need to hate on this plant you can just eat it and turn it into really good um, probiotic and prebiotic medicine because we all need to be well and we all need to be healthy and we all need to be looking after each other. Decolonized food, decolonized medicine. So this is going to be ready in about a week to 10 days. And when it's ready, it will have a really lemony flavor to it, really delicious. And we are going to spoon it onto our sourdough flatbreads that Patrick showed you how to make in a recent video. Uh, any questions, just put them in the comments and we will answer them. Pretty simple, pretty delicious and medicinal, free medicine for free people. <laughs>